remember what it was like to be the lover? Really passionate about your partner, desiring them, them desiring you, having sex all night long, really getting off on each other's bodies and time together and doing really crazy things at times that were, that really <laughs> made your relationship sizzle. The lover, remember the lover? <laughs> Well, a lot of times we forget this lover in ourselves. So I'm going to talk to you today about building that lover back in your relationship so that you can manifest the kind of relationship that you desire. Now, if you've been in a relationship for a long time and lover has disappeared, it's time to bring him, her back, right? You want that back. The lover feels so good, but you have to feel it in yourself. So it is time, number one, it's time to take action. It's time to decide, yes, I want my lover back. Do you want your lover back? The lover is missing and that you would like to bring it back. If it's yes, comment yes below, please. I wanna see how many people out there really are ready to take on their lover, the lover within themselves again. Okay, so now you've decided, yes, I want to be that lover again. I wanna feel what it is to be that lover again, right? You're staying in your relationship. This is going to, you're gonna, you're gonna try to make this work. How, whatever it takes, you're gonna try to make it work as you enter into your lover state. And how are you gonna do that? You need to first understand, this is number two, what are my desires now? What do I desire? Think about the kinds of things that turn you on now. Are you watching porn, certain things that turn you on there? Are there certain people that you look at that get you excited? Are you feeling certain things in your body that get you excited? Do you think about or fantasize about certain things that get you excited? Really look at the desires that you have now so that you can start to feel that energy in your body, that desire in your body. Allow yourself to connect to that desire that you have now. It may be very different than what you used to have, or it may be the same thing and you've never had that opportunity to play it out and you've always wanted to. So bring it up now, say yes. I want that lover feeling and I want to connect to my desire. I want to feel that energy in my body. The next step, number three, I want you to start talking to your partner. You need to talk to them about what you're feeling, what your desires are, what's coming up. What have you got to lose here? You are ready to make a change. You are ready to open into your lover. The lover is honest and open and genuine and has no problem revealing their desires and their inner feelings. I'm going to help you with this one because I know that if you haven't talked to your partner for a very long time about your intimate relationship, your sexual relationship, your desires, it could be, it can be tricky. It can be difficult. Where do I start? Where do I go? How do I do this? I have a list for you of questions that I've written out <laughs> specifically for you on a PDF. Go to the first link in the description below, get that PDF. It gives you a list of a whole bunch of questions. You can use these questions or you can start to make up some of your own questions that you would like to talk to your partner about. But you have to start talking. Once you connect in to the lover, the desire that you have, the next step is to talk to reveal, to let the energy come out of you in a verbal manner. And this means sitting down with your partner, having a heart to heart, having a conversation where you are laying out who you are on the table, who you are now, who you are now, what you are feeling now, what is going on for you now. You want your partner to understand you. You want your partner to really start to connect with what's going on with you. And you also want to find out what's going on with them. Okay, are you ready to do that? I'm here to support you. <laughs> Just getting your courage up, you're getting your confidence up to really start talking. And in order to get that confidence moving in your body even more so that you feel even more ready to begin this conversation, you want to start to feel like, 
Who do I need to be in order to make this desire manifest in my life? Do I need to be more loving? Do I need to be more open? Do I need to be more uh, touchy-feely? Do I need to be more action oriented Do I need to be more activated, energetic? Think about who do I need to be? Who do I need to be? Because if you're in a place where you're holding on to the desire and you haven't been able to express it, you haven't been able to talk about what you really desire in your relationship, then you are not you. You are not the person that is energetically there yet. So think about how you need to step into that person. Who do you have to become? What do you have to do to become that person? This could mean just gaining more confidence in yourself, gaining confidence in your own desires, in your truth, in who you are. I'm really excited to help people, men, women, get to this place where they're able to then communicate with their partner what they're really feeling so that they can start to build a happier and more joyful lifestyle together. If you are that person, I am putting together a program and I would love to interview you. It's only an interview you and it's only an interview that I want to do to get more information about how I can help you. So in the description as well, I'd like you to go down there and sign up for that interview. Let's have a conversation so that I can learn more about ways that I can help you transform your life. The fifth thing that I'm going to tell you that you need to do in order to manifest this kind of relationship that you want, in order for you to become this lover again, is to start now. Take action now. Think about it. Feel it. Move with it. How does the lover walk? How does the lover move? How does the lover talk? How does lover, me, the lover, I am the lover. Who am I as the lover? As I start to embrace my own lover, I think I need to compliment my partner more. That's what a lover would do. I need to touch my partner more. I, I need to um, get dressed up in a way that I feel really attractive and beautiful. So I need to soften myself so that I feel the lover in me much more. I need to maybe read some books that are more erotically based so I can feel the energy of the lover. I need to open about what I'm feeling and my desires because I can trust my partner so much and I want them to hear what I have to say. And I'm the lover. The lover is whatever it is to you. And you need to create that persona in you again. I need to court my partner in a way that a lover would court them so that I feel that lover in me and they feel the lover in me. And as I bring out that lover in me, they will start to respond to me as I am the lover. If you and your partner are still in love and you would still like to continue being together and continue your life together, but you're feeling that frustration, you're feeling that disconnection that, of intimacy between the two of you. And it's been a long time since you've had that nice, beautiful, juicy connection and you would like to have it back. Then it's time to take the action into your lover space. It's time to feel that lover again inside of you. if you're wondering about where you're going to find this lover inside of you, it still exists within you. We all have the lover part of us. Open up this part of you that creates a connection that's deeper between you and your partner. The lover loves loving. <laughs> the lover loves to love. Open your lover up. Let your lover come out and have some fun. Listen up to what I have to say. I've got some great points for you. Try them all out, let me know how it goes, and start to manifest the kind of relationship and the kind of scenario that you want in your relationship now. See you again next week. Much love making.